welcome this is the energy vibration um, reading for the full moon for the month of January for the air sign people this is for the Aquarian Gemini and Librans so I want to say to each and every one welcome to this new year and welcome to this full moon reading it is going to take approximately 45 minutes to um, between 45 and 50 minutes so it depends on how many messages come out for you guys this is the full moon reading again for the air signs so who are um, the, the Aquarius Gemini or Libra first we're going to look at the Sun sign people then the moon sign people then we're going to have a general reading then we're going to be looking at money and love so let's see what is coming out for um, uh, for you guys thinking about something the sun sign people um, for the moon the Capricorns are going to be coming in and then we are going to be having so here we go um, and then we basically have the Sagittarians which I hope you guys can see here okay and the Taurus so wow what a change what a change is happening there is definitely a change that is definitely happening um, for you air sign people a lot of help is coming in and we have you working with Sagittarius okay so wow okay so um as we look, um, we are going to always, and we always deal with the sun sign people first, and then we deal with the moon, the moon, because we have the sun and the moon, and that's how the creation with the energy of the sun and the moon. So, um, yeah, kind of like a perfectionist to fix the cards on track so you guys can see. Okay, so what we have in here is that a lot of you because each and every person have Saturnus in your chart okay Saturnus is the govern the, the, the govern um, planet out of the Capricorns okay and Saturnus is going to be coming in so if you notice the moon sign people are going to be awaken and aware and help with the energy of the Saturnus for you guys because in each and every person um, birth chart there sits Saturn in your birth chart okay it is something that as always always has happened so Saturn is definitely definitely in your birth chart each and every person is um, have a role that Saturn plays in your birth chart now for you here assigned people who were born in the day and again it is that if you were born um five o'clock in the morning until um 5 p.m. in the evening um, you are dealing with the energy of um, Saturn okay so let's say that um, um, one o'clock at midnight uh, so um, you're having all of that because a day is with 24 hours so whatever happens in the daylight it is the Sun sign so if you were born in the daylight but not after 7 p.m. before 7 p.m. you are governed by the energy of the Sun now what is happening is that you guys are going to be having the Aries to deal with and uh, what this is going to be do for doing for you guys is that you're going to be finding the passion the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarius the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarius you're dealing with all of these um, three fire sign um, you Sun sign people so it's going to be um, this uh, month of January is and uh, you know I've, I've said to you guys um, this year is going to be the changing of guards and you can really see it I see the energies coming up in all the readings because here we are looking at the energy of um, the Saturn because Saturn is uh, um, Saturnus while Jupiter represent, represent the body and the extreme to it's the limitation and options of Saturn Saturn um, um, represent constrained bounties and um, limitation okay so um, what Saturn really wants you to do is really realize and be aligned with what it is that, that serves you um, best so it's, it's, it's as if it is finding and it's helping you to find your place 
on this planet and that is um, just what is happening now um, as you realize the only thing um, that you sun sign people you're all dealing with um, different variations of people and which is the fire sign so the fire sign people are the ones that, so a lot of you are going to be connecting with your soulmate through the energy of the fire sign okay so um, that's that's something that is very good because um, what is transparent is that um, a lot of people are on the, their journeys looking for their soulmate and this is what is going to be transparent but on another end the situation with the Sun and Saturn now that is be aware of the passage of time from day to day season to season year to year do not waste another moment okay so for the motto for the people who were born in the day what it is basically saying is that you need to be aware of the passage of time day to day um, season to season year to year and do not waste another moment of it so this is the energy that is affecting the fire sign so this is really good because what is happening um, for you um, you air sign people is that the fire sign is coming in the fire sign is definitely coming in so you're going to be connecting with the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarius and the Orpheus um, and finding your twin flame relationships in these fire sign people which is very good and very positive that is going to be aligning you as we look at the moon people you're dealing with a Capricorn Pluto and the Tauruses so, so the energy of Saturn and the moon is one of you being aligned it's an alignment okay Saturn and the moon do not fear the dark nights of the soul light will return in your spirit in good time okay so you air sign people are uh, um, the um, who were born in the night do not be, be fear of the dark side of your soul because light will return and the Capricorns are going to be coming to bring back light and Pluto the Pluto the energy of Pluto has to do with the Aquarians okay so um, you Aquarians are going to be feeling um, some um, attribute of shifting in your consciousness um, because you Aquarians um, have the energy and the planet of a Pluto in your sign which is going to be um, really shaking you Aquarians up a little bit but it is just shaking you up because um, the, the, the Uranus is here Pluto is um, further um, uh, Pluto is going to be um, affecting um, most of you air sign people okay so be aware of this because when Pluto comes in it has to do with the scorpions okay so people who are um, connected with scorpion people they're going to be shifting um, and, 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 and rooting up things which is going to be so far fetched and so far out so expect if you're in a relationship with a Pisces uh, with a, um, a scorpion that there is going to be shift there is going to be a shift there is going to be a huge shift that happening in that relationship okay so there is a lot that is happening for you guys um, it is really um, when you look at this you're seeing that so many um, situation that is going to be coming up for um, you guys um, it is going to be really a shifting of guards there's just going to be a lot of things that is going to be transpiring in your world um, in this first full moon that is happening so um, let's go and see um, what other messages is coming out to see where, who, what, and how this is going to be affecting you. Who, what, and how is this going to be affecting you? So, for the sun sign people, we see gratitude. Some of you have to be grateful. Abundance is going to be coming in because um, the Leos is going to be helping you guys out. Do you sun sign people? Let's look and see what the Capricorn is going to bring in. Um, confusion which makes you need to um, clear Pluto is going to help you to teach um, teach you to pray and after that the growth is going to be um, the growth is going to be here because Saturn is going to bring growth in your life which is um, very 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 good okay so for you air signs people and you know Capricorns is they're more spiritual they're more awaken and they will um, lead you on the path to where you need to go okay so
so the Aries with gratitude what is happening what's happening with the Aries with gratitude um so some of you are going to be connecting um there's some deception that is going to be happening um the leas abundancy and the leas some deception so be aware of that for the people who connect with the leas okay people who connect with the leas be aware the six of pentacles is here so a lot of you are going to be receiving help the capricorns and the aries could be um helping you guys out a lot of you are going to be receiving help capricorns and the aries could be helping you guys out so let me run through this so for the sun sign um hair sign people which is uh, um, the um, Aquarian Gemini Libra you could be dealing with the Aries and this Aries is going to teach you about what is gratitude and it could be an older man this older man is a um, is a Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so this could come in as a father figure or this could be coming in as someone who is older who is going to teach you um, about gratitude being grateful for what you have and this is what is going to be coming in for you sun sign people who are de dealing with Aries people okay older people okay as we look um, for you air sign people who are dealing with the Leo's the Leo's could be coming in but um, um, they're coming in to teach you about abundancy but they might be taken from you so be aware of this um, Check out the general reader and the rest of the reading on on demand to see what they're going to be basically doing. Um, they will be coming up because it's all about your abundancy. Okay, so you ear sign who are connecting with the Leos, there could be some deception with your abundancy. Okay, there could be really some a deception with your abundancy um, if you're dealing with Leos or if Leos coming into your life between now 15th of January to 15th of February. Be aware of the deception. Um, with your materialistic world okay we have the Sagittarians and what is transpiring the Sagittarians are going to be coming in to bring you enlightenment okay the Sagittarians are going to be coming in you your air sign you you ear sign people lives to bring you enlightenment and with this enlightenment there could be conflicts okay enlightenment come in different sort of ways they could be bringing information to you to let you know about something this could bring conflicts or they could be releasing the conflict so um, it is the way that they came in with this help so we're looking at the people that you're assigned who were born in the night and you are dealing with the Capricorns now the Capricorns are very highly spiritual people Capricorn people if you notice they have the head of the goat and the fishtail and what is coming in is that they might be coming bringing some confusion but this confusion is releasing your confusion so the Capricorns are going to be coming in releasing your confusion some of you have been confused for a while and the Capricorns are going to be coming in and removing that confusion and breaking that confusion now with that they could be um, also um, bringing um, 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 ways of you making money or um, bringing in money to you in removing as they remove the confusion that is in your life money will start to flow in your life so the Capricorns are going to be doing well for you guys um, in this um, first full moon of the year 2019 let's look at Pluto and Pluto is here Pluto um, is going to be releasing something out of your life so that um, positive energies can come in the energy of Pluto is that you need to pray um, you really need to pray there is someone you're dealing with especially you men 45 years and older it's going to affect you and Pluto is coming in and the men 45 years and older you need to pray 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 ask the universe for help men 45 years and older pray 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 and ask the universe for help so um, this is what is coming in it's all about this the solar plex chakra a lot of solar plex chakra in healing now for the moon people you are dealing who are dealing with Tauruses the Tauruses are going to be coming in to um, recover you bring recovery to you so you might be reconnecting with a Taurus and they are going to be recovering and uh, recovering whatever the what was stolen and whatever that was taken the Tauruses are going to be coming in and recovering things for you so you'll be receiving message from the Taurus is that they are um, helping you to recover from a situation so here um, expect to have a message 
from the Tauruses. So this is good, and I want to say it's all about growth. Um, so if you would like to connect with us to see the on demand, um, I will speak to you on the other side. Namaste. Welcome to On Demand. Um, I want to say to each and every person, thank you so for so much for returning. Um, thank you so much for returning um, to my channel. And um, as I've said before, this is um, the extended reading for the air sign. It's, it's good for you guys to especially take the extended reading for the full moon reading. This reading is running from the 15th of January until the 15th of February. Be ready, be aligned. This is going to be powerful. This is going to be positive, okay? So let's see what else is going on here. Okay, as we look at this energy, is that there is a lot of powerful energies that are going to be coming in. The Capricorns are really going to be coming in to help, and the Tauruses are going to be helping you guys to recover whatever that was lost. The Tauruses are going to be helping you guys. So there is a lot of help that is coming in from the um, the, the the Capricorns. A lot of help is going to be coming in from the Capricorns. They're going to be helping you and giving you growth, especially for the people who were born. In the night after 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 um, uh, 6 p.m. okay so here you are seeing this now we're going to be moving forward and we're going to go deeper in the readings um, we're going to be checking out what exactly is going to be transparent so this is going to be 